uh, in today's video we are going to do another deck which is uh, real, uh, Frivol Families. Please uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment below this video, let me know how you like this series so far and if you can please share this link with whoever would be interested in watching videos about Boy Love's World deck used in uh, most of the series, movies, etc. Uh, so now, Real Families. I would use as an example Bad Buddy the series because it was actually, um, you know, there it was um, like portrayed brilliantly. And what I um, probably appreciated the most is that they actually mentioned the even more famous uh, example of uh, family rivalry, which is, of course, Romeo and uh, Julie or Romeo and Juliet. Juliet is it miss I think uh, the thing is that uh, yeah we shall probably start with uh, defining uh, with defining um, the word rivalry first so rival is a person business or organization who are competing or fighting against the same area or for the same thing as you the thing is, if you have a rival, you kind of feel good about fighting with them because they are doing the same thing or worse than you. If it is a thing of a families, then it might get much more complicated because um, if, like in the example of Pen and Pren, uh, the, the competing people are actually your parents, then you kind of feel a loyalty towards your parents, like naturally, and... Um, Sometimes not, but in their case, like definitely, there was no reason not to. And um, you might as well feel like pity or sorrow for the other party that is involved in the uh, in the dispute. And you kind of know don't know how to cope with it because it is not your personal thing. It's a thing of a family, and if you kind of don't uh, take it as your own, then it, it's not your own. And it is exactly the example between Pan and Pren, where uh, things got even more complicated because they fall in love with each other later on. But the main thing is that the kids did not know much about this. Um, this dispute, uh, what it was all about, and it involved only like a mother of one of the main leads and father of the second main lead. I mean the sec, yeah, the main leads. Uh, so they kind of were. They were kind of limited because this dispute did not involve them personally, and so their emotions were not one hundred percent into it. Plus, there is the big point where uh, one of the main leads saved the sister of the second main lead, and at least since that point, they kind of um, understood each other, stood on the same ground of their parents being in an um, argument, yet them not being like specifically personally involved in that, and they yes, they felt something which was uh, connected to them trying to best the other one. But it was not the problem that actually arose between their parents. So they were kind of a little bit left out of the mainstream of hatred towards each other. And they find their ways and their uh, paths to not only happiness, but understanding each other and the like, life after that they found it on their own, which means that they still were not involved in this dispute. So, uh, if we say that it's a thing of uh, uh, family members, if we say that uh, it's like a highly of a thing of those uh, who take it personally as their own, but they, it's not their own thing, and if we say that the parents was the one that well, it was their thing, it was their problem, but they kind of dragged um, outsiders to to the middle of it, and it, this is the example that it cannot be actually truly done this way. You won't drag your problems to other people's. Okay, 
so now we shall dig into our uh, favorite scheme of how to do these things so we mildly define what it means yes yeah, so rivalry two people competing for something or because they want something it, it is the same thing or they kind of uh, go the same path and see the other one as the concurrent and they don't want to have concurrence and they are kind of they try to hold their position um yeah pros and cons like if it is in the families we can clearly see the pros of doing such a thing in audio visuals in bed the series if if it is a, um you know dispute between your relatives the pros for like audiences actually are they can watch without any sort of opinion or bi biases mostly uh, what um, is going on and they might or might not add to that problem by being involved uh, and for us as the, the, the audience we can uh, kind of enjoy especially in be a world where these two main leads that uh, have kind of you know the heritage of of uh, arguing kind of transmitted to them in, in like, like in an entirely different way which is like pleasure to watch because that way they kind of have to find ways on their own and these types like these ways are kind of you know they are different in something and we enjoy doing difference in BL world because nowadays BL world is full of tropes that are no longer usable in the like original way so please try not to do that not to do that. try not to do that mm, cons I mean if you are too head over heels with this dispute it's not a bad like it's not a good thing it you will feel involved if you don't want to you will feel involved if you like don't have anything with it and you might lose someone important over that otherwise i would say it's hard to portray maybe uh, and I mean the, the the layer of creators who kind of have to portray it somehow. Uh, it's not that easy to do. I would say that we have much more experience with disputes on the personal levels than we have with the disputes that are like second-handed. And like Romeo and Juliet ended up tra tragically. And Pan and Pren never gave up on themselves and they ended up happily, which is good. Like these two examples are the complete opposite is what it what that means. Personal biased opinion. I like I like I, I love it when it is done the good way. And like it was kind of on verge, but the mother and the father of the two main leads kind of had a, like solid reason for uh, hating each other's guts which was good uh, they like they showed us the the least possible um, cringy way which i appreciate and and they were i mean like you know they were both likable when they were not behaving like little kids over the trash bin trash bins or things like that they truly seem to be like easygoing likable people so associations i'm afraid i ca i could not came up with any other example than bed buddy the series and romeo and juliet uh, I would say that mostly these types of things might end up dra tragic. The more I appreciate the way uh, Pan and Pren managed it. Yeah, yeah, okay. So here we are, and we did another take from Bed Buddy the series. Alright, guys, thanks for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye bye.